before I pressure test it, obviously I've got to put the uh, overflow cap back in to keep the pressure in and um, or the drain plug, one of the two to keep the pressure in. And the thing is, um, when I pressure tested this before, I wasn't using a lot of pressure, maybe 20 to 25 pounds per square inch. Um, I, I talked to a professional who said, no, that's too much to pressure test. Uh, anywhere 11 to 15 PSI is the right pressure for gear case testing. I mean, it makes sense. You're not, anyway, it's not an air compressor in there. It's uh, just to hold the oil in and the water out. So uh, I'm going to back my uh, regulator down to 10 or 15 PSI. Uh, but what happened when I was pressure testing it before is the shift shaft would blow out. So I'd, I'd, I'd apply some air pressure and the shift shaft would shoot vertically out of this. So I caught it, fortunately. But uh, this time when I test it, I'm going to have my hand on the top of that shaft to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, I'm um, about, about to get ready to do that. Well, after much frustration, <clears throat> I've tried to get this surface to seal several times and uh, pressure test it and it would leak around the interface. And so I thought, well, uh, I didn't really want to put gasket sealer on it because whenever you put that stuff on, it makes it harder for the next guy to disassemble. And uh, so this morning I thought maybe what I would do is put gasket sealer on one surface so that it at least eliminates that surface as a potential leak. And if for whatever reason that gasket needed to be built up a little bit, um, it, the gasket maker, uh, that sealant, would uh, potentially help there. <clears throat> so I did that 10 hours ago, waited for it to get, you know, pretty dry there. And it's uh, still a little bit tacky. It's in a cool garage. But I uh, bolted all down, pressure tested it, and it was still leaking all around the front here. I thought, what is going on with this? So then I realized that this little guy right here was on top of that gasket. And then this this guy goes on top of that and i think that maybe this black thing is holding this guy from making a good seal against there and in fact what i did was i took a pen and traced around that black thing on the gasket and look at how much extra gaskets there that should not be there anyway i'm now going to cut that out and uh maybe that'll allow this black thing to drop out of place and not cause that to be uh, a problem sealing. So I'll let you know in a minute. Okay, after tracing, uh, or after cutting it out with a, a brand new razor blade, that's the amount of material I took off. And now when I do that, this little black doodad is in place. I don't know, maybe what I did wasn't necessary, but just in case there's any chance it was holding the uh, doohickey up in the air there, I wanted it down. Okay, so I want to show you how to pressure test an outboard after you think you've got it all sealed up and back together again. Got the drive shaft in there, shift shaft in there. Remember, keep that shift, shift shaft held down into position so that it doesn't uh, drop the uh, shift lever inside. You get the bottom drain hole open and the top plugged, or the other way around, whatever you prefer. Drop your pressure right down to like 10 to 20 PSI and insert this, uh, your air fitting in there. I like to wrap a rag around a little bit of it to just fill up the pressure. And what I'm going to do is somehow show you, I'm just, see that right there? Air's coming out of there. I'm injecting air in there. See the other side? So anyway, this is still leaking, so I'm going to put sealant on. I'm going to put sealant on both sides of that gasket and then put it back together. Okay. Well, as much as I really didn't want to do it, I did put sealant on both sides of that gasket, tightened it down. I didn't even really tighten it that tight, and uh, it's no longer leaking. Uh, any foam you see from the suds was from actually when I sprayed it on. So this surface is uh, now fine, and uh, I don't know. Maybe it's even supposed to have sealant, but regardless, it's not leaking now, and I'm I'm quite pleased with how that worked out. Also, the other thing too is, in order for me to stop that from leaking without sealant, I would have had to crank those bolts really tight, and I didn't want to do that. I actually chased them with a uh, tap just to clean up the threads in the uh, aluminum foot. I used a quarter inch by 20 and uh, chased the threads, and now they just they thread in easy. Uh, again, these are just temporary bolts to, to uh, 
tighten this down without the water pump housing in place. 